Hello everyone, I am Micronix and I'm here showing you Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator. This game is a game where you can pit off multiple up to eight armies up against each other in massive scale combat. And today I'm going to show you off the new units and the new map that they included as well. So they included two new maps, or one new map, a uh, flat test map just for better uh, battles I suppose. And then they also included two new units, Fantasy, Dwarf, and Festive, Santa. So I'm going to be pitting off about 500 versus 500, just to make it kind of an even battle. And, uh, yeah, let's just get beginning here. Alright, so here we are. So this is the new map. Nothing special, it's just a flat test map, just to have bigger battles with better performance. So we have Santa right here. Very creepy looking unit. And then we have the dwarves, which are over here. So, kind of cute looking, kind of weird, but you know. <laughs> Still an entertaining unit to look at. So let's just quickly get the battle going. And then, there we go. So as you can see, Santa has a candy cane. And the dwarves have axes, so I wonder... I believe they have two axes. Yeah, two axes versus candy canes. So I'm assuming the dwarves are going to win. As you can see, they kind of split off into two separate little areas and kind of met in the middle. Kind of look like a pair of lungs, to be honest with you. But, uh... As you can see, the dwarves, I think, are winning. Yeah. So, I think they have... Uh, here, let's check how much uh, health they have. So, the dwarves have 340. Versus the Santas, which have 300 health. So, health-wise, the Santas are going to lose. But I'm assuming the damage is also lower in the Santas area. As you can see, the dwarves are making quick work of the Santas. Sorry to ruin any child's dream out here. But Santa just straight up sucks. So we're at the last 50 Santas. The dwarves only lost on not even half of their units. There's 15 Santas left. And... Santas are all dead. The dwarves lost 249. Santas got defeated fully. Alright, so I have set up all the teams. I have four teams in total. I have Fantasy with Dwarves and Orcs. I have Medieval with Heavy Knights and Spearmen. I have Ancient Greece with Roman and Persians. And then I have Animals set up, and that'll be Tortoises and Penguins. I have 500 of each unit set up into their designated teams. I believe all the colors are set up with their own team. If not, I guess we'll find out, but here we go. Alright, so here we are on the flat test map again just to showcase the units that I have here. Uh, so I have to the left here. We got the penguins with the tortoises to their left. To the left of them I believe we have the... Was this the Persian? I believe this is the Persian. To the left of them we have the... Or no, not Persian maybe. I don't know, maybe, maybe Persians. Along with the heavy knights. And then we have... Oh, these are the Persians. Okay, so we have the Persians. So those are the Spearmen. Those are the Heavy Knights. This is the Persians with the Romans. And then these are the Dwarves with the Orcs. So let's see what the battle does. And let's see what happens. Alright, so as you can see, the... Dwarves are going after the Romans right off the bat here. Persians are coming along to help out. 
orcs are going after and slaughtering all the penguins. So that's that's kind of sad. We have a very slow fight over here where the spearmen are attacking the tortoises. So far, oh, so far only one tortoise I think has died. Not even one. Anyways, yep. And then over here we have the other Persians attacking the heavy knights. Interesting to see where. Oh, this, where's this guy going? Well, I don't know where he's going, but he's going to help somebody. Along with the orcs and the dwarves are going off in their own direction. We got a big fight of Romans and Persians attacking the dwarves. That's pretty cool. And then over here, looks to be like all the penguins are dead. Tortoises are still fighting, but the orc has come over to help out. Actually, why is... Okay, the heavy knight came over here and seemed to have gotten himself mixed in with the Persian... Or the spearmen and the tortoises. Oh, yeah, there we go. Okay. Over here, the... Persians have been pretty much slaughtered out by the heavy knights. The orcs have taken on the Romans and the dwarves now. But since they're working together, I got a feeling the Romans are just going to die out pretty quick. Penguins over there. This orc is coming over here to help out. Attack all the tortoises. Oh, this orc died to all the tortoises. Spearmen are do doing pretty strong right now, attacking the tortoises. Pretty even match, to be honest with you. None of them are really dying, but it's kind of an even stand, stand ground here. Heavy Knights have defeated all of the, what looks to be Persians in this area, so they're splitting off to attack the Persians over there and the tortoises. These ones are spreading out to attack the orcs, which looks to have killed all of the Romans, yep, all, pretty much all the Romans are dead. So now it's Heavy Knights versus Orcs versus Dwarves, which are coming in to help. This little one's just coming along to help out. And as you can see, the Spearmen are pushing back the Tortoises now with the Heavy Knights helping out. And then all the bodies of the Heavy Knights and the Persians. As you can see, it's a quite a big clusterfuck over here with all the all the enemies going after each other. But it looks to be that the dwarves and the orcs are probably one of the best combinations here. Just due to the fact of their their strength, I suppose, and their health. The heavy knights and the Rom or spearmen are attacking the tortoises still. It's a pretty slow fight. They're actually lasting a lot longer than I was actually thinking they were. But good on them. Oh, one little dwarf is attacking all the heavy knights, which he's dead. So I got a feeling that's going to be a pretty close match with all the heavy knights versus the dwarves and orcs. Spearmen may or may not survive with the tortoises, I don't know. It looks to be a pretty even fight with these two. All the others just didn't really stand a chance. As you can see, the tortoises are slowly getting overrun by the heavy knights and the spearmen. They're lasting a lot longer, probably because they have 500 health. 
Oh, and here comes the dwarves and the orcs. So this should be quite the fight, since they seem to have a lot more left than the heavy knights and spearmen do. Just wondering if the tortoises will survive to see the death of all the knights, or if it's just going to be the end of them all. But I guess we'll see. I think just do the size of this army versus this army, it's just gonna... The dwarves and orcs are just gonna take over. I don't think uh, they're gonna survive. The uh, heaviness are gonna survive or not. But I guess we'll see. As you can see, some of them are coming over to help out, but... Doesn't look like they're doing so well. Uh, they did do this update, so it's a beta 0.2, so they added the new map, and then they added two new units, along with inanimate objects, which I believe there's desks and tables. Uh, I'll have to check that out in a little bit, but I don't know why they're there, but they're there. I think he also may have improved the AI to actually surround the enemy, rather than just stay in the front of them, because as you can see, they're surrounding the tortoises slowly. And then, as you can see, the dwarves and the orcs are surrounding the heavy knights. Uh, one thing I love about it is that the actual movement mechanics of it, they keep, they actually go around the units to attack them. As you can see, it's becoming nighttime now, so it'll be a little bit harder, but it looks pretty cool to see. So it looks to be that the Heavy Knights are being pushed back, and the Spearmen are being pushed back. Looks like the Orcs and Dwarves are actually going to win this one, which I'm not surprised. So it seems to be a pretty close battle here. The orcs have taken over this side and the dwarves have taken over this side, but then the spearmen have taken over this side, so it seems to be a fairly close match, but I think that the dwarves and orcs will win this match. Just due to size of numbers.
And we're down to the last five spearmen. Oh, four. Three. Oh, two, one, and they're all dead. So the dwarves and orcs have taken over. But it was a pretty close battle. Let's see. Yeah, there was only 84 dwarves left. So 84 dwarves and orcs left. So that's not too bad. They obviously killed the most of 1,971 units, but the spearmen took out 1,516 enemies. So not too, too bad. Pretty even match. Now I'd like to apologize now that I just looked through the footage, but there was these weird numbers popping up on the screen and going while the battle was going on, so I would like to apologize for all that uh, happening, but... Yeah, hopefully you guys all enjoyed the video, and if you want to see more, be sure to let me know. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.